J Drone here. What's going on, guys? This is an Airhawk drone. If you've been with me for a while, you know this drone. If you're new to the channel, you don't know this drone. This drone was an okay drone. Um, didn't get awesome range, so I wanted to change that. So we popped the top open. Um, that's not the original board. That's a board from a 010. This is the original board. I've taken the original board out. I took the wires uh, off of the original board. Um, kind of snipped them down. And uh, what we've done here is... Uh, We've taken the 010 board and we've just connected the wires off of that to uh, to the stock motors here. And uh, the end result is this bad boy flies, right? Um, but, but, we aren't going to be using the 010's uh, uh, tiny little controller. We got something better. And I am going to have to change this connection out, but for time being, I have not. And we are going to go ahead and plug in this battery. Plug it in, plug it in. And we'll go ahead and stick that up there. And actually, I might do a time flight just on this battery um, just to see. I know it's not going to be great or anything. Um, let's get the ferry out of here. Let's get all the ferry's blades out of here because they're going to blow away. So uh, this thing is, again, flashing. Um, and we have Bamzo, our jumper. We are going to turn the jumper on. Bam! Here we go, guys. Um, it is ready to go. It is ready to go. We got the Jumper T8SG. We got Airhawk drone. Then I've taken the original board out of it and I put this board in it. Um, we still need to mod for battery connection, but for time being, we will take this as a fully charged 150 milliamp an hour battery and we are going to throw it in just to give it a test flight. So what we will do here is just plug this in underneath here. Come on. Plug it in, plug it in. We will tuck this guy underneath here. And hopefully, that'll stay there for the duration of the flight. I think it will. Maybe. It might. Hopefully, it don't bounce all around. Should be good there, I think. Um, and again, jumper. Because I have uh, the 010 board in it, it, this can now be connected to the jumper. So, we're going to go up. Smooth as butter, guys. Smooth as butter. Rocking a little, rocking a little. Came down a little bit too quick for it. And it is windy out. Go ahead and fly into the wind. Bring this back. Complete success. Um, without the canopy on it, maybe that's why it's rocking just a little bit, or maybe I'm coming down too fast. And this thing wasn't meant down to come come down that fast. There's a little look at the yaw rate. We have a crazy yaw rate now. Not really going to do a range run on this. This is just uh, kind of a test flight with uh, with this 150 milliamp an hour batter in it. I don't have the underneath lights lit on the arms. Dude, this thing gets crazy pitch. I, I <coughs> bug. <coughs> second bug I've eaten on camera <laughs> so here we'll try to show you the pitching here Ooh, it can't handle the pitching at least not heavy pitching like that with the wind and go ahead and go up again so there's a little left there's a little right full down and my battery's hanging out the bottom it's doing all right though I think we're blinking I think we are blinking easy 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 yeah this ain't this ain't having a wind uh despite the fact we are doing good uh we're blinking we are blinking so that's just about the battery we'll uh go ahead and take it up for a little bit more and having the battery down back uh kind of swinging around isn't helping either but dude this was a huge success this is definitely a candidate to put a 5.8 gigahertz camera on and do a range test well we can do a range test of what type of range we can get with the 010 with this now because it's the exact same board the only advantage uh well we have multiple advantages one of the main advantages that we're going to have now is flight time duration as opposed to 010 that you're going to get short flight time obviously this is in a full flight time duration because i will have like a 500 to a 700 milliamp an hour battery on this which will give it some weight and keep the wind from pivoting it left to right that's what i think it is this thing has like no weight to it um but dude this was a huge success anybody can do this i did not solder anything 
Uh, I cut and splice, cut and splice wires, and this thing worked out well. I'm surprised, that's it. I'm surprised what type of flight time we got with this drone with a 150 milliamp an hour battery in it on the jumper that's definitely drawing more juice. We've, uh, that's pretty good. Minute and a half, two minutes, uh, full size uh, X5 type clone. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And again, this was the original board. That's a 010 board. Just connected up the wires to, to the motors. There you go, guys. We will be doing range testing, but not today. It's a little bit windy to be doing range testing today. If you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button later.